Video piracy is not a victimless crime. Illegal downloads and torrents rob the artists of being able to do what they want to do, and that's to afford to bring you awesome creative entertainment. Support these artists by buying their music and their movies. And support physical media, because you never know when your cloud or hard drive is going to flatline. Hi, Rob with Smash or Trash Indie Filmmaking. As you can see, we're out here in the woods doing some hunting. What we're hunting, don't ask. But what I can tell you is that we're going to be checking out 2013's Blood Creek Woodsman. Written by John Bowker and directed by Joe Sherlock, the production stars Tom Stedham, Rob Marikel, and Adam Paris. The plot behind this shindig is that in the town of Oak Creek, Oregon, a logger by the name of Bud Kendrick, portrayed by Adam Paris, goes into a blood-drenched rampage after he found his wife sleeping with a co-worker. He's dubbed the Blood Creek Woodsman and wasn't stopped until Sheriff Tom J. Sherlock, portrayed by Tom Stedham, filled him full of lead. A year later, the town is once again rocked with many messy deaths, very much in the vein of Kendrick's murderous spree. Does this mean the Blood Creek Woodsman has come back from the dead? Or is this the work of a copycat maniac? The sheriff and a nosy investigative female reporter try to get to the bottom of the mystery. Now, acting chop wise, Tom Stedham is fantastic as the conflicted sheriff, boozing it up and getting into bar fights. But he's also trying to do the right thing, and is hell bent on stopping this chainsaw wielding maniac. Now, Stedham has had a solid career in both television and movies, and is the strongest actor in the cast. That's not to say that the rest of this is poorly acted, it isn't. Everyone involved equates themselves quite well. Be it that this is a Bowker slash Sherlock collaboration, there is a bit of flesh on display for those interested in both cheesecake and beefcake. Unfortunately, the cute little blonde and the negligee doesn't go starkers, so that was a little disappointing for me. Now, is there blood? Is there gore? Hey, is the Pope Catholic? Yes, yes, and yes. A lot of the red stuff has splashed around. Now, perhaps a little too much of it is via the old super silker blood beam shot at the wall. But there are plenty of on-screen kills, blood, and gore. Now, I love the production values of this film. Gone are the days of the long-haired rock band types in overcoats trying to pass themselves off as undercover cops. In Blood Creek Woodsman, we get authentic police uniforms, law enforcement vehicles, and a vast array of both interior and exterior locations. Now, be it that I saw this as a Vimeo screener, I have no idea if there's any special features on the DVD. For that, I suggest you contact Joe Sherlock directly at SkullFaceAstronaut.com and ask him. I enjoyed the hell out of this popcorn movie and give it an 8 out of 10 hatchet wax. Rob at Smasher Trash says, check it out. Thanks for tuning in to watch this review. If you enjoy this video, give us a like and subscribe. Also, consider becoming a Patreon member for more perks and content. Links below.